interesting. We were also talking last night about the importance, and I think everybody in this is be a great piece of insight from you for everybody in this room, the importance of play in our life. Yeah. And we, you know, as we get older and we have all these responsibilities, financial, in every way, how do we incorporate play into our lives? The biggest leap of faith people have to take these days is an economic leap from the old grindstone model, which, by the way, is falling apart. As there are fewer and fewer jobs to be had, more and more people are clawing for them. It is rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. I'm a sociologist by training. It's going down, okay? The economic model is going down. The leap of faith is that you can become wild and the world will sustain you. And I can't generalize that experience. What I've seen, I like to compare it to, a, there's a tsunami of change coming in, a tidal wave. And people are running into these big structures. I'll get a job and then I'll be safe. And the tsunami comes and they all get swept away or drowned. And then I, I show people a video of that. And then I show them a surfer on a wave that turns out to be a monster, seven stories high. Mm -hmm. Here's this guy, he's out naked on a piece of wood. <laughs> and this thing comes down on him like the wrath of God. And he comes flying out of there and it's the time of his life. The, the challenge is, do you dare leave the building and run out there naked. And that's why I could not publish this book the ordinary way. Because I couldn't like hang on to an old structure. Oh, I'll get a publisher, that'll help. I had to say, no, I'm gonna do it my way. Every single thing has to feel and taste and, and touch. It all has to feel like food for me, not poison. Oh, yeah. No, and, and she drew this. I painted it, really. She painted this. Which um, is really quite amazing. You get to see it. She's yeah. an incredible painter. And there's going to be a coloring book. Yeah, I'm making a coloring book. This, which is also, I'm a big believer. She gave me for my birthday. And my birthday this year, I got a basket for a little child. And I was like, Who, who's having a baby? And I was like, that's so weird. Is someone having a baby? And then it was, Patty goes, it's for you. I was like, <laughs> for me? And I opened it. It was all this baby stuff from her for me. And it was all childlike, and uh, was coloring books and crayons and snugglies and kind of. And uh, you were saying that in the book she uses the term beloved all the time in the conversation and little girl, and that you were saying that really nobody, that are the way we're raised in society and even now wants to be quote a little girl. Yeah, and that it's the lowest uh, position in the society. And you want it elevated. And, and that is, you know, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. The, that, that, that thing I quoted earlier, wait without thought for you are not ready for thought. Then it goes on. And so the darkness shall be the light and the stillness the dancing. Everything gets reversed. So literally, I started drawing when I was 10 months old. And I thought oh I'd Oh, stop it. I did. 10 months old. Yeah. And then I was going to be an artist. And then I lost these in my hands for 12 years. And so for me, as I start making these coloring books, I'm like, I am literally five years old, except without all the, the abuse. <laughs> I'm just like coloring. That's a whole different book. Um, <laughs> so I'm coloring away, and I'm feeling like a tiny little kid. And then I call you. I'm like, Maria, I'm making a coloring book. And you tell me, oh, I just talked to a woman from the Home Shopping Network who says that coloring books are like the big thing now. That's right. So the very thing, if I, I'm going to stop doing any job at all, and I'm going to lie on the floor and draw pictures of pigs. And then you tell me, well, that's where the money is. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, take, you've got to take the leap, and I've coached so many people, and the ones that are afraid to jump from the plane, I'm just going to hold on to a bungee cord. The parachute can't open. But if you really jump, it opens.